So, uh, first off, there's going to be spoilers, so if you don't want this episode to be spoiled for you, I wouldn't watch it, but uh, if you don't care, or if you've seen it, then uh, yeah, thank you for uh, watching this video. And uh, what are my thoughts on the first episode of Hard Knocks training camp with the Chicago Bears? It was okay. I don't know. It was it was okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna like it as much as I did the year with the Detroit Lions with Dan Campbell because Matt Eberflus just is not that kind of guy. But um, you know, I I'm still gonna enjoy it. You know, the Chicago Bears are there, my favorite team, obviously, and uh, I've been waiting my whole life for them to finally be featured on fucking Hard Knocks, and uh, yeah, they're featured. So um, I'm really happy about that. But uh. Yeah, we saw a lot of Matt Eberflus and Caleb Williams in the beginning. And Eberflus, I was kind of hoping, like, after watching this episode, I'd like him a little bit more as head coach. But, um, I don't know, it's kind of the same. Just watching him uh, use his words, like, motivate the team, it wasn't really... I, it, what, I don't know, it just didn't impress me at all or get me motivated. So, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if Eberflus is a guy. Maybe I'm just overreacting to a stupid episode of Hard Knocks, but just I'm not 100% sold on Eberflus yet. We'll see what happens this year. Maybe I'll be sold on him. And yeah, we saw Caleb in there. He got a Chicago Bulls intro, which was kind of cool. And uh, yeah, we saw him play good in training camp. We also saw some flaws, and that's going to happen. You know, he's a rookie quarterback. But, um. I really like Caleb Williams. So far, I really like him, and I think he'll have a good year. Like, not great year for a rookie, but I think he'll ha definitely have his moments next year, and I'm really excited to watch him play. But just to list off a few notable things that happened, Cole Komet at the beginning got a little bit of screen time. It showed him throwing out the first pitch at a Chicago Cubs game. Jalen Johnson, it showed him driving down the street in his... Uh, it was a pretty nice looking car. I forgot what kind of car it was, but I'll put a picture up on screen. I, I want a car like that. And uh, we also got uh, Jonathan Owens, uh, his wife, Simone Biles. I don't know if you know her or not, but, but she was doing pretty well at the Olympics. It showed the whole Olympics thing, which I thought was pretty cool. And we also got to see Keenan Allen in Aroma Dunze for a little bit, but not a lot. And we saw um, DJ Moore sign his contract extension, four years, 110 million, biggest contract in Bears history. And uh, if you want a good receiver catching balls from Caleb Williams, I think that is a really good deal by Ryan Poles. I'm glad they got that done. I wish we would have gotten a deal done with that with Roquan, but you know what? I'm going to pick my battles. I'm not going to fight too much about that. You know what? It's fine. Roquan, you're a raven now. But also... Uh, what did we see? We saw the quarterback slip and slide. I don't know if you saw that on Twitter. And, uh, yeah, um, a lot of people were calling it stupid, but you know what? I, it might actually help us, you know, we want Caleb to slide, we want him to be safe, we don't want him to get fucking annihilated by a linebacker. So, uh, you know, sliding, uh, practicing that, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. It was cool seeing all the quarterbacks together in the same room, you know, but with, uh, Caleb, Tyson... Uh, Brett Rippin, Austin Reed. We saw the Hall of Fame game, obviously, and it highlighted Brett Rippin and Colin Johnson's performance because they played very well in that game. They got some screen time, and uh, yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, I wish we would have saw more of Austin Reed in that play, uh, not in the fucking playoff game, the Hall of Fame game. Um, he didn't really get to play a lot because of the weather delay. The game uh, didn't finish. And uh, their, their, his uh, family was there, so I kind of wish he would have been able to finish out that game and play well. But, uh, you know, he still has some time in the preseason. So, you know, it's not, not, it's not the end of the world. We can still see some Austin Reed out there. There were two really big highlights in this episode. The first one was Nick Saban coming into Hallis Hall and having a meeting with Matt Eberflus. That was uh, pretty cool to see. And they were having a meeting about Caleb Williams, how uh, he shouldn't listen to outside noise because of, of all the expectations that are going to be placed on him by the fans and the media. And the important thing for Caleb is to just develop and become the best quarterback he could be. And he used Peyton Manning as an example of his rookie year where he threw 28 interceptions. 
But, you know, Peyton Manning went on to be one of the best quarterbacks of all time. So him throwing like 28 interceptions in his rookie year was not a big deal at all. And yeah, uh, just listening to Nick Saban just made me wish he was the head coach instead of Matt Eberflus, I'll be honest. I think Nick Saban could probably take better control of the locker room. But, you know, I, I, I will give Ibu Flus a chance, I guess. We'll see how he does with his beard. And the other highlight of this episode was our rookie offensive lineman, Theo Benedet. I believe that's how you pronounce it. He's from Canada. He got up there in front of all the players. He was doing, like, you know, those rookie show things. And, uh, oh, he definitely put on a performance. He uh, took off his shirt and he started singing... Um, I'm proud to be an American. He pulled his pants down, and he was wearing a Speedo with an American Eagle on it. So uh, that was very inspiring as a fellow American. Theo Benedet, however, he got injured during the Hall of Fame game, so he's probably not going to make the roster. But you know what? He He's going to have a special place in my heart from now on. That was That was a special, special performance by him. And yeah, guys, I am looking forward to episode two. I hope we get to see a little bit more of Caleb Williams, some more Romo Dunze, uh, DJ Moore. I'd like to see more of maybe uh, Montez Sweat could get his uh, moment in the sun. We'll see what happens there. But uh, yeah, uh, enjoy the episode. Yeah, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.